Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to review Max's Bighorn 3.0 tires after having them for a year and a half and putting over 4,000 kilometers on them which is about 2,500 miles. Last year I did a video on Max's Bighorn 2.0 tires. Overall I really like those tires a lot and if you want to see that video I'll put a link in the description below. So here they are after 4,000 kilometers. I mean you can see for yourself there's a lot of tread depth left there. Uh, they had three quarter inch lugs when they were brand new and here I measured them and I can't remember exactly but they were under a half an inch but not a whole lot maybe three sixteenths less um, and I ended up destroying basically one of these back tires in Newfoundland this summer and um, it, and I wanted to buy two new rear tires because I wanted them to both to have the same tread depth. I didn't want them to be staggered. And I ended up getting a smoking deal on another set of tires. So for like $150 more than buying two Max's Bighorn 3.0s, I got four brand new uh, Atlas 4Runners. But I'll describe those for you or review those for you in another video coming up. In the year and a half that I had those Max's Bighorn 3.0s, I was not easy on them. And I will show you here some videos of some of the stuff I put them through over the last year. This mud and water hole that I'm going through right now uh, was at a rally that I was at. There was probably a few hundred machines. And where I'm at, uh, several people got stuck and had to get towed out with winches and so forth. And I made it through in a stock machine uh, with these tires. I was pretty impressed. This is soupy. I see you chucking right now. Yeah, some big chunks of ice out there. Oof. This was Stephenville, Newfoundland this summer, and you're legally allowed to drive ATVs on roads there. You know, one thing I did notice with these Max's Bighorn 3.0 tires was that they were a lot louder on pavement than they than the 2.0s were. I didn't notice that on any other kind of type of terrain except for pavement. Not that it's a big deal. I mean, we don't drive on pavement very often, but you did know you did notice a, a like a hum noise coming from these that were quite pronounced on pavement. This section I'm on here on this trail, you can't really tell in the video, um, but it's very steep. I'm on an incline here going up a mountain. Uh, it's about 15, 1600 feet up or more, and uh, can only go about six or seven miles an hour driving up this. And um, these tires handled great. So the bottom line is I would recommend these tires to anybody that's going to be using them uh, on trails and you know with the occasional mud or snow or uh, loose rock sections, things like that. Um, if you're looking for a tire that's like fantastic in deep mud, I don't do that kind of stuff so I can't really comment on them in that kind of terrain. I would suspect you'd be better off buying a tire that is general um, are generally designed to be in that kind of stuff like a Maxazilla or something like that you know something with big paddles but if you drive like I do mostly trail riding with the occasional loose rock and mud and water and stuff like that I think you'll have no problem with these and really like them they're durable six ply tires uh, they're radials so they're comfortable they handle well and I was really impressed with um, the grip that these tires had in pretty much any terrain and if I didn't replace those tires when I did I think I still could have got at least a thousand miles out of them uh, which is about 1,600 kilometers before I would have had to have replaced them. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the Max's Bighorn 3.0s if you've had them as well. If you like this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video.